it's Scott. And to be honest, it's kind of amazing when you start going through and cleaning out your office as to what you actually might find. And in my case, not only did you find boatloads of drive-in theater memorabilia, but in one of the back cabinets, I also went ahead and came across a skull and a brain. So with that in mind, when it comes to basic anatomy, remember we're taught that there's two parts of your head, and that's called the outside and the inside. And the outside, to no surprise, is your skull, and the inside, as we'll show you, is called the brain. And when it comes to your skull itself, it does a great job of doing exact what we'd hope it would do, which is protecting the brain. However, with that, a couple things come into play that you might have forgotten since undergraduate anatomy. The first of which is when you look on the inside of your skull, the top is nice and smooth, exactly as you'd hope it would be. The issue is when you take a look at the bottom half, you can see with all these ruffles and ridges that it's anything but smooth. And that's a huge issue when your brain starts bouncing around because it's anything but smooth. The other issue when it comes to your skull is remember when you flip it over, you see that big hole in the back of your head. And remember in basic anatomy that this is called the foramen magnum. Because in Latin, foramen means whole and magnum means big. So it's Latin for what is called big hole. And why that's a huge deal is when we take a look at our little sheep brain. If we were to put it inside of the skull, and then it starts shaking all around so that now we have a whole lot of bleeding and or edema. Remember that something is simply going to get shoved down the hole. And that, depending on which part of your brain gets shoved down the hole, is what we call herniation. Otherwise known as when you've got a hernia around your belly button, that's an umbilical hernia. Or in this case, it's when you've got brain and or brain stem literally herniating down the hole. So again, herniation is when you have something getting shoved down the hole. And as you can imagine, the outcome is not going to be so good. But with that in mind, quick reminder when it comes to your brain itself, you've really only got three parts. And that's simply called the big part, the little part, and the thing in the back. So the big part, to no surprise, is your cerebrum. The little part, you remember, is your cerebellum. And cerebellum, interestingly, if you look from the inside, you actually see how it looks like a tree. And that's because it actually means arbor vitae, otherwise known as the tree of life. And then we look down at the bottom, and that's where as we have our brainstem. So with that in mind, quick reminder as to what does what. Because people, to no surprise, are going to act differently if you mess up the front than if you mess up the back. So with that in mind, the frontal lobe is located where? That's in the front. And the frontal lobe, you remember, is personality. And the way you remember that is called Jack Nicholson, One Flow of the Cuckoo's Nest. Because in the 40s, 50s, if you had a problem with personality, they simply chopped out your frontal lobe. They put it on the table and your personality after that was just fine. Your temporal lobes, remember, are over here. Those are located right next to your ears. To no surprise, that's hearing. Your parietal are up here on the top and on the sides. And that's where as you get sensory and motor integration which is a fancy way of saying you put everything all together. But the one that never made any sense, you remember, was the occipital lobe, and that's all the way in the back. And remember, all the way in the back does your eyes. And wouldn't it have made a whole lot more sense if God would have made your frontal lobe right next to your eyeballs responsible for vision? <laughs> well, that would have made sense. But as you know, nothing happens without a reason. So why did God make your occipital lobe responsible for vision? is so parents could have eyes in the back of their head. <laughs> That's the big part. Little part, you remember, as you move down, is your cerebellum. 
right? And your cerebellum is coordination and balance. The way we know that is see most guys at a wedding. You give us a couple of beers, we have the newfound ability to dance. <laughs> that is your cerebellum. And down at the bottom, remember, is where you have brainstem. And brainstem, you remember, begins with B, and that's things like having a hard beat, and you want to breathe, and you want to be alive. Down at the bottom is where you get in to brainstem. So, big part, little part, thing in the back. Anything that has way too much pressure inside of this closed box, meaning the skull, that's gonna cause something to get shoved down the hole cannot be good.